For generations, Nickelodeon has kept children entertained and safely away from their parents. Watch is another channel of a dying medium that mostly serves to aggregate cartoons from at least 10 years ago. Scrapes together the last bits of nostalgia in a desperate bid to stay relevant by wrapping it into something you might like now. And in that very spirit, get ready to play Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. If all that was holding you back from playing Smash Brothers was that you knew and liked too many of the characters, then this is the game for you. As All-Star Brawl dishes out a cast that ranged from universally iconic to maybe you knowing about them if you grew up at a certain time, to some real stretches like the dinosaur toy from Rugrats and not the character named Arnold from Hey Arnold, making you realize that they don't have enough characters you actually care about to make one of these things without resorting to Nigel Thornberry. You know, you really know you're scraping the bottom of the barrel when everyone gets excited that your game is getting Garfield. Discover what it's like to have to rip off an incredibly popular franchise on a shoestring budget. As the quality difference between Smash Brothers and All-Star Brawl becomes immediately apparent the minute you turn it on. With basic textures and sketchy animations abound, each level is scored by incredibly simplistic music. <laughs> leaving you to rely on your sheer enthusiasm for the game mechanics to carry you through this almost full price title. And unless you've been waiting for decades to have the Avatar suplex April O'Neil, that's a high bar to clear. I'm just saying you could probably save some money and find that on DeviantArt if you look hard enough. Experience the meat of the All-Star Brawl experience, The Combat, which plays like a faster, sloppier version of Smash with a few minor tweaks, like a universal air dash that you'll use to toss yourself into the void by accident, strong attacks that you can do in the air and miss every time, grabs that are basically the same for everyone in case you fear variety and change, and a number of other minuscule tweaks that you'll mostly only notice if you're already a Smash lunatic, which you probably are if you're playing this game, because otherwise the main demographic is people that want to beat the shit out of Spongebob. So grab some friends with too much free time, and make them question why they hang out with you, with a budget Smash for people who already care about the genre of fighter, that everyone else will play for like two hours before memory holing it for the rest of their lives. Unless they have some sort of very specific fetish for the weird candy cane thing from All Real Monsters. Hey man, whatever floats your boat. Actually, I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm judging you right now. Starring Porous Punisher, <laughs> Starfist, Nutchucks, Somehow High on Pizza, Personality, Having Swords, A Very Normal Person, Alien Hominid. Smashing, yeah. Helga. Give up the ghost. Extremely running out of character ideas. Some shit I'm way too old for. Tim Burton anal prod. Cat dog. Actually cat dog. Snack Brannigan. Cabbage murders. And Chris Pratt. Nickelodeon some stars.